My name is Katelijn van Koten and I'm the exterior designer of Solar Team Eindhoven. Our solar car is not just a normal car with solar panels on the roof. It is designed in such a way that the energy yield of the solar panels can cover the total usage of energy of the car. Even when there's just a small amount of sunlight, you want to be able to drive to your work. Therefore, a solar car should use its energy as efficiently as possible. In every single step we take in the design process, we take into account the energy efficiency, even in the first brainstorms and the first sketches. Optimal aerodynamics and low weight are really fundamentals to our design. Looking at most commercial cars, they are designed to meet a certain standard of what cars are supposed to look like. Our team dares to deviate from the norm. We try to find beauty in a shape that allows us to have a car that is super efficient. The weight and the aerodynamics are not compromising the safety of the car. By doing strength calculations, we make sure that the car is safe in every possible situation. After designing the car, all parts are produced at the Brainport Industry Campus in Eindhoven. To make the car as light and efficient as possible, the designers use high-quality handcrafted components. Here you can see the, actually, the actual orientation of the carbon, uh, horizontal and vertical direction. We lay this kind of, of carbon in the molds, multiple layers on top of each other, and in between some core to make to make sure that the layers are further away from each other and therefore much more stiffer actually. When the carbon has been applied to the mold, it is then put in a vacuum bag to make sure all air is removed between the carbon layers. When all the parts are free of air, it's time to put them in the oven. Each part has to bake for 16 hours to harden the resin. Today is an exciting moment because we're going to get the floor, the biggest part of our car, out of the oven and release it from mold. And then we'll see if it's really as good as we expect it to be. Of course, there's a little chance that it won't go as expected, but fingers crossed that it will work. The floor has come out the mold successfully, which is a great relief for the team. Enough reason to celebrate this moment. After weeks of building hundreds of separate parts, it's time to assemble the car. Slowly, the shapes of the car become more visible. 